this was an <coughs> effort to keep things new uh, and working and not breaking down and having to fix stuff all the time. Uh, I did trade mower conditioners uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, it's an H7230 disc mower, 10 and a half feet. The new one is the exact same model. Uh, the only thing different on the new one is it has a swivel, drawbar swivel hitch uh, instead of the standard type hitch. And it's a 540 PTO, not a thousand. Uh, that version of hitch, I guess, only comes at a 540. <laughs> or maybe that's just what they told me, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, it's a, otherwise it's the exact same mower. It's the newest style of this mower that New Holland makes. Um, so we're gonna get it drug out of here today. Uh, they'll be down later this afternoon with the new one. Um, So yeah, stay tuned. Here it is, uh, brand new, uh, New Holland H7230 disc mower conditioner, 10 and a half foot uh, cut. Uh, it's the exact same thing that I had, <coughs> uh, but newer. But this is not a brand new one. It's a 2013. It is brand new. It's never been used. It has it on a lot. Uh, so I kind of got a special deal on it. Uh, my old one was a 2009. Uh, I traded this, traded it. Um, basically, this mower uh, is going to will cost me is costing me less than my old one. Uh, when you trade new newer stuff for newer stuff, uh, it's a whole lot cheaper than fixing the old stuff. I know exactly what we've put in the old one for repairs. Uh, and it's kind of ongoing repairs. It's not that, that you hit something and busted something. It's just things are wore out. Uh, so this new mower, uh, knock on wood, uh, is actually going to cost us less money to own than having to keep them around the old one. So it's basically the same thing. Uh, it does have a, the drawbar swivel hitch. That piece right there mounts onto the uh, tractor dra draw bar <clears throat> and then that'll hook onto it uh, so this whole whole uh, part will swivel when you're turning uh, it saves your PTO shafts etc uh, this is a 540 PTO the old one was a thousand uh, I guess I really don't care uh, it'll be nice uh, the 4430 will probably be running this mower, and the other job of the 4430 is hauling manure, which is also a uh, 540 PTO. So uh, it's not that big of a deal. I just as soon have everything one or the other, uh, so we don't have to keep changing PTO shafts all the time. Uh, otherwise, it's it's a, the exact same machine. Uh, this is the newest, unless they came out with something new this year, uh, but this is the, the, the newest of the newest, uh, model that, of this type of mower that the, uh, New Holland makes. Um, uh, it's got the rubber, rubber rolls, um, uh, I get along fine with them. We have it. Uh, see, it's still got all the paint on it. And when you touch one of them, uh, they all turn. Uh, which in my old one, there was a uh, half a quarter turn of slop in them, so they were kind of where I was getting wore out. So this is the way it's supposed to work. start turn one and they all turn um, and then on the old one uh, 
those joints were getting wore out. Uh, so basically, it was time to trade it. Uh, we worked out a deal. Uh, got a new mower for for basically what it was costing or less than the old one. Uh, an effort to try to keep things new. Uh, since when we need to go, we need to go. Uh, that's what we did. So, anyway, uh, it's about six weeks away from probably mowing any hay or, four, or a month away yet. But anyway, we're ready to roll. So, that's the new mower, and we'll get it. get put back in the shed uh, shortly uh, real quick uh, why not a center pivot I don't have the weight on my tractors to run a center pivot more conditioner I ran them before and they throw the tractor all over the place uh, I don't have the weights on the 44 to do it and, and the M is the, not any better so that's why not a center pivot uh, I don't want to sit in that all summer mowing hay and getting thrown all over the place so uh, these work great. Uh, this is what suits me fine. Uh, center pivot would be nice if I weighted down the tractor and to hold it in place. But uh, this is what we got today. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, comment if you have any questions. Uh, like, uh, subscribe if you guys haven't. I like fun YouTube stuff. And we'll catch you guys next time.